When considering the differences between SACN and ArtNet, you may be wondering if there are any network efficiency or overall system performance differences between them. The major difference affecting performance of each protocol is the length of the data packet and therefore the amount of information to generate and transmit on the network and finally process by your receiving devices. When comparing each closely, the SACN protocol has more ancillary information on each packet on top of the universe data itself compared to ArtNet. In theory then, ArtNet should be higher performance. To see how much this difference matters and assist with visualizing this data, we've put together a real life comparison to recreate and analyze performance of both ArtNet and SACN. Here we have an active source of ArtNet sending 96 universes at 60 frames per second to a Pixlite Mark III device. We can measure both the network bandwidth of this ArtNet data as well as the load of the Pixlite. With ArtNet data, the Pixlite is receiving all 96 universes at 60 frames per second and is outputting this data comfortably at 60 frames per second. Its CPU usage is currently 47% and we can see that the network bandwidth required for this ArtNet data is 3.1 megabytes per second. Let's switch this to SACN. With the same number of universes and the same frame rate, the Pixlite is still performing just fine, outputting at the same 60 frames per second with the same 47% CPU usage. We can see that the network bandwidth is now 3.8 megabytes per second, which is a 22% increase on the network load. This is a rather large universe count, and even with this volume of data, the difference in efficiency of ArtNet compared to SACN is only marginal. We can see ArtNet is slightly more efficient, but it probably won't be enough to affect your selection of EDMX protocol. There's more detail on the Advertech Lighting website, and please check out our related videos on this important topic. You'll find the link in the video description below.